fans, hyper fans, and people just lost looking for videos of cats on YouTube. As shots are leaked of Hasbro's Titan class Devastator, this lovely incarnation of the Jolly Green Giant shows off my doorstep from Sir Toys. This is a KO version based on the TFC Hercules, and he is massive. I have to say, I've only had a day of playing with him, and I'm already very impressed. Um... I will review the entire robot, but if you want to see its individual components, click here, here, and here. I have everything now in limb mode, um, as you'll have seen in the individual videos if you'd clicked that far. And hopefully I can show you how this guy goes together. Starting off with the dump truck. and the high tower crane. Those two posts that we flipped out before bending it in half just go into the two slots on the tr top there. Um, there's a tiny little clip on one side which will hold the legs and the cab pushes up into that space. It all fits pretty well together. Um, but nothing's really going to hold until you add the chest wings. Um, now again, those don't have any other storage space. Um, you had a little bit more um, maneuverability with these on the official release. But on this one, it's just a single piece of plastic that clips in. The head does the same. Actually, we'll do the head reveal last. We'll do the legs next. So, Mad Blender, the cement truck, clips on, looking pretty much in vehicle mode. Um, the articulation at the front of the cab now becomes an ankle tilt, as it does on the front loader. This should at least let me line him up in the centre there. Whilst I'm not 100% happy with the fact that they have duplicated the arms, um, here we have at least a little bit of... Sorry, um, I've broken that back up again with what I've attached onto each arm. But they, These pegs are a little bit loose and you kind of have to work them back and push on to get stuff to hold. I just need to move that forward ever so slightly. The hook will only actually fit into this hole at the back pointing out over the shoulder. So quite accurate for G1 Devastator. Not so versatile compared to the original TFC design. This is apparently the one that's got the slightly better build quality, so this is the one I was sent to review. Just plugs in on a single hole on the top there. And there we have it, TFC Devastator. Um, let's see if I can just straighten him up a little bit. He comes with three very large cannons. Um, this one is slightly different and there's two of these. They can just about fit into the hand. Actually, that one's the only one to really hold with any level of control. These are pretty much the laser guns that they had the moulds of at the time. Paul over at Sertois does include the very thin, very confusing instruction sheet. Um, I mean, they're, they're so thin you can actually sort of see through to the AR information at the back, and I'll move on to that in a second. The illustrations are taken straight from the TFC design. I don't know if these have been sub-licensed from TFC or just plain stolen. Um, we have three of these little control tower blocks. Um, they are actually all slightly different. Um, I haven't used them other than one up on that corner. Um, but I guess if you want to 
for a little bit of individuality between these two arm units, then you can do that. The other thing I'm really interested in is they come with AR cards. Um, you're supposed to pop one down, point your phone at it, and generate a 3D model of one of these robots. Really nice touch, a little bit extra work being done by a Chinese company. Actually shows how evasive smartphones are over there. Looking back at our KO Hercules himself, we have no articulation in the head. There is waist articulation. Um, it's slightly hindered by the truck arms, but I guess you can move those out. But it's just this very, very tiny little T-shaped piece of plastic holding the waist in. Um, I'd be a little bit nervy about using that for articulation. Um, the arms are just turning on the connection joint. There's a little bit of in and out again because of the way the connection joint works. Um, has the same problem with Hercules with see, a little bit of outward movement, but there's not a lot of space in there. Um, I don't believe that the Rage of Hercules adapters are going to give you any additional space on that. But until I get one in hand to play with, I can't say whether or not they're compatible. The articulation on the legs is iffy to say the least. Um, a little bit in and out. Um, it will move forward, but obviously these are very weak joints and they're not going to hold a pose. Um, there's a ratcheting joint at the knee, which is at the connection point. Um, possibly what you'd consider to be ankle tilt, if you don't mind unplugging the occasional bit. And a little ankle swivel left and right. Um, I can remember where that joint is here. That, that, that one at least is quite tight. And if I plug that one back in. Yeah. So some nice wide plant poses. He is a little bit back heavy. And you do have to lean him forward to get him to stand straight. That's fine if you're collecting mainly Deluxe and Voyager class, because he's a big bot to intimidate your collection. For size comparison though, here he is with Starscream. And I definitely think that that's a really good scale. But possibly a slightly less common mould is Energon Omega Supreme. And I have to say, that is fantastic. If you actually had Devastator's legs together and had him standing up as straight as Omega Supreme, they would be head to head. And considering that as a G1 fanatic, I know that that's where the big rivalry is. I do love that. I'm not 100% sure who this KO Hercules is for. He's certainly not something that I would give to a child because it is going to break if you play with it for more than 30 seconds. But he's not really a collector's item either. I mean, there are definite reasons for having this rather than the official TFC release. For example... I suppose the number one thing you have to consider this bot, or is it a collection of bots, as is it's a modder's delight. The price that he's at is ridiculously low, and the amount of detail in him is actually really high. If you want to pull your paints out, put some purple in there, you're going to end up with an absolutely fantastic figure. And if you want to do it this side of Christmas, you're going to have the best Devastator there is. Along with everyone else, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Hasbro pull out. But to be honest, considering how much a Titan-class figure costs, I'm going to be more than happy with this guy when I've got him finished.